Hello, my name is Rob Colbert, and this is an Unstoppable News special report. What we have here is Anne Malum, I assume that's her pronunciation, creator of Solid Core Fitness Program, utterly violates the privacy of Ivanka Trump. And what's wild about that is Solid Core has a privacy policy. So let's just go have a look. So along comes this on Twitter today from Betsy Klein, a news reporter. At Ivanka Trump went to Solid Core and its founder posted on Facebook. So we have here from Ann Malum what you do when you find out Ivanka Trump just took Solid Core but used an alias to sign up for class. You reach out and ask for a meeting. While I don't know her and I always seek to understand, I do know her father is threatening the rights of many of my beloved clients and coaches. And as a business owner, I take my responsibility to protect and fight for my people very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that I will let it just trump my privacy policy. Oh, do you see what I did there? It's clever. Give it up. Give it up. It's at least worth a thumbs up. Because... What the fuck is Solid Core? So Solid Core is a fitness program, okay? Um, about Solid Core is not just a workout. We are on a mission to help you create the strongest version of yourself inside and out. And that's a quote from Ann Malum, founder, owner, and CEO of Solid Core. All right. So who is uh, Ann Malum? That's Ann Malum. Full social justice warrior to the face. She wants you to know that she is the absolute best at doing sit-ups and fuck you. Fuck your privacy. It took a complicated search on Google, I'll leave it at that, in order to uncover this document, which is not linked from anywhere on their website. You cannot find a link. I was unable, in a reasonable amount of time, I was unable to actually find a link to this website's privacy policy. So I had to have Google go dig the site and, 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 and find it, which it did. Now, if you'd like to read this for yourself in your browser, assuming it remains online, you would want to go to solidcore.co slash solidcore dash privacy dash policy. Hopefully the document will still be there, but if not, this video will serve as a record of it. Solid core privacy policy, and I'm going to read the entire thing out loud. It's not that long. It's a normal printed page. Okay. Um, the privacy policy last updated June 30 of 2016 solid core operates the HTTP colon slash slash www.solidcore.co website. And this page informs you of our policies regarding the collection, use and disclosure of personal information when you use our service. Hmm. Interesting. So I have to wonder, as a customer of this product or service online, if I would at this point have a reasonable expectation that my real name would ever be shared on Facebook by the CEO or co-owner or owner or whatever um, of Solid Core. All right, let's just read it and see if see if we can expect that. OK, so we will not use or share your information with anyone. Whoa except as described in this privacy policy. Oh, okay. Well, then let's have a read of the document then, because my personal information is something I, at times, regard uh, with value. And I, I might want to be, say, as a celebrity, let's drop names. All right, no longer Ivanka Trump. Just replace your favorite celebrity for Ivanka Trump, okay? Um, as that celebrity, if I'm signing up here, I'm probably interested, uh, is my real name going to get out there <laughs> or, or whatever? So what do they do to protect my, my, my privacy? They have a policy. It's right here. The privacy policy. What is their policy as a company? So information collection and use. While using our service, we may ask you to provide us with certain personally identifiable information that can be used to contact or identify you. Interesting. So while using the service, we may ask you to provide us with certain personally identifiable information that can be used to contact or identify you. 
Now, I wonder if as a customer at this point, it would be reasonable for me to even think that identify you means that our CEO might post about you on Facebook, public post. There it is. I don't think I would have a reasonable expectation after reading that, that the CEO is going to post about me on Facebook. I think what they're trying to tell me is that they're 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 not going to do that. They 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 value my my personal information and um, they don't share it with anyone except as described here. So that doesn't say that there's going to be any sharing going on with the identify part. So I'm thinking it's pretty reasonable to not expect the CEO to use your name on Facebook. Just saying, sounds like a reasonable expectation to me, but I'm not a lawyer. I have a degree in computer science. So this is a common sense interpretation of a document. A professional really should get involved. Personally identifiable information may include, but is not limited to your name. Personal information. I'm not sure why that's in parenthesis. Log data. Uh, so they're, they're, they're specifically saying may include but is not limited to your name so when handling your name we won't share it except as described in this privacy policy so let's see if they describe any sharing of my name it's the document i'm just reading it so log data i'm gonna skip over that as far as reading it out loud you can use pause and read it yourself cookies I'm also going to skip over that. It doesn't talk anything about the name or the sharing. So again, you can use pause and please read it yourself. Security. Now, this does mention personal information. I will read this out loud as a service. The security of your personal information is important to us, but remember that no method of transmission over the Internet or method of electronic storage is 100% secure. While we strive to use commercially acceptable means to protect your personal information, we cannot guarantee its absolute security. Okay, so in that paragraph, for as horrible as that is, and I'm going to elaborate in a little bit, it still doesn't say anything about a circumstance under which my name or personal information otherwise is to be shared or not shared at all. There's really no policy on sharing other than we won't accept as described in this document. I can't find any additional description of how they will or will not. So I'm going to assume that they don't. They won't because they don't describe a situation in which they'll share it. They don't even describe law enforcement. Most privacy policies do. This one seems to be rather cookie cutter. Not a lot of effort went into this. That could be a problem for solid core. Now, given the fact that they do have a document. So changes to the policy. Again, I'm not going to read that out loud other than don't even expect an email. It's your responsibility to just check up on this unlinked page, save a bookmark, hope it's still there. And it's your responsibility to know what their current privacy policy even is. Contact us. If you have any questions about this privacy policy, please contact us. And for completeness, the rest of the rendered web page is a link provided to contact us. Tell your friends about us. So by all means, enter your friend's personal information right there and submit. And then on social media, you can find us with these links or you can find them. I'm in no way affiliated. What am I saying? Us. And you can also submit your email address into this disgusting form um, in order to uh, sign up for their newsletter. I don't know why you would do that, especially given their incredibly weak privacy policy and the CEO's now public statement that she'll she'll consider her own personal uh, gain to be much more important than your personal information, if it ever benefits her at all. So obviously it does. Now, who is Ann Malum, right? I don't know. And I don't necessarily want to. But what I would assume, call it what it is, is that what you're looking at is somebody now over a rather failing business. She needs this to be doing better than it is for some reason. Uh, this business is not meeting what she believes to be her needs. And so she thinks that it's worth violating her own website's privacy policy um, in, in order to obtain some um, 
some some mind share, some some attention so that people are now more aware of her solid core fitness program. Well, that's how you get more Trump. OK, it, it just is that specifically is how you get more Trump. First of all, it, everything about this. Anytime I said Ivanka Trump should be allegedly. And Malam here alleges that Ivanka Trump took her program, offers no proof of this. I hope she doesn't, at least outside of a, a court of law, <laughs> which I do absolutely expect she'll find herself in within about, oh, I don't know, what time is it? Seriously, like what, in a week? Um, Because she has a privacy policy. It very explicitly states that this business is not going to share your personal information was explicit enough to actually use your name as an example of what they will not share, except as described in a rather terse document that gives no details about sharing your personal information, not even with law enforcement. So when you're signing up for this program, I would say as a celebrity, again, let's drop all the names. Don't make this about Ivanka Trump. Make this about your favorite celebrity instead. Insert favorite celebrity here, okay? As your favorite celebrity, if I'm signing up for a fitness program operated by anyone, but let's say Ms. Malam here, I would probably go through the trouble of, of reading your privacy policy because it's important to me as a celebrity. I'm not one. I'm just saying. Role play with me here. And so I really do think that Ivanka would so easily be able to make the case that she had a reasonable expectation of privacy with respect to her real name being used by this business. And it has now been used, what, what I would say, rather clearly for personal gain. What, what other reason would you do this? Ask yourself, why would Ms. Malam post about Ivanka Trump taking her course on Facebook. Why would she do that and mention her by name against her, her company's own privacy policy? Obviously she's in some sort of state of panic and she needs to do something like this in order to get in, get ahead in life. So what that tells you is if you've been accepting mindset advice from this person, realize that you've been dealing with someone who is perfectly at peace with accepting a paycheck in exchange for the suffering of another human being. Let that be your favorite celebrity or you personally. What if this was you? You signed up to lose some weight. You know, you got a self-conscious thing going on and this appeals to you for some reason. And so you sign up and now for whatever reason would benefit her personally, she's writing about you on Facebook without asking your permission or anything like that, just out there doing her thing because it's important to her. She takes that responsibility very seriously. She obviously doesn't take her privacy pro policy very seriously at all, but she sure does take whatever she thinks is this, you know, magical responsibility of hers quite seriously. So that's worth considering when you're thinking about uh, Ms. Malam here as a person. And especially when you're thinking about taking advantage of her uh, products and services online or otherwise, uh, doesn't seem like a good a good investment on on your part. I would recommend going elsewhere, anywhere else. What was at play? Really be the best at doing it. from the name of another person. Some sleuthing and found out she used. the fact that Kanye West was the kind of empire to bring it before for 
for watching. If you like what we're up to, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Remember, the robots bring the news every 10 minutes. It's as live and lit as it gets around here.